Hello? Is anyone here? Boop, 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 boop. Hey there, Kathy. Hi there. I'm uh, switching my audio if I can here. Hold on. Okay. Um... Let's try. I might have to reconnect. No, I don't think so. I have a new PC problem, a new Mac, in fact. I just need to figure out how to get my mic to my headphones. <laughs> Different operating system, same problem. Audio video settings. Choose your audio. But I want to choose different audio settings. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Hauke? Yeah, fine. Thanks for asking. That's good. That's good. We're just waiting a few minutes. Kathy is struggling with her microphone and headset like everyone does. With <laughs> Yeah. Last time I tried to use the PC to connect, but uh, it didn't work really nice. I had lots of times where it just stopped. Mm. Uh, now I use the phone again. That worked till the last oh, time. As long that, that worked nice. Yeah, whatever works best. I mean, that is always the, always the issue. Yeah, I continue to be amazed at the inability of everybody to figure out a way to make audio on computers easy. It, it doesn't yeah. seem like it should be that difficult, but yes, apparently it is. Hello, Anton. Hi there. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit late today. Uh, well? just, just joined now. Not, not, not a huge uh, number of topics uh, from my side, but keen just to listen and to see where, where everyone else is. Awesome. Yeah, don't don't worry about being late. People are people are kind of uh, straggling in, so I think we'll wait a couple more minutes and then go from there. How okay, did you go to the conferences? Uh, I've been at the uh, Embedded World. Oh, how was that? Yeah, it was nice. Uh, I met Jeremy mm -hmm. uh, from Imagination. He's probably not joining today because we are, they said they are flying or something like this uh, now that happens yeah with uh i kind of figured we would have a little bit smaller smaller crew uh today with all the travel and the conferences and things like that so um kathy have you had any luck well her audio her microphone went off her profile. Oh, there it's back. Kathy, are you having any luck? Yes, I think so. Yes. Can you hear me? All right. Yes, very clear. Awesome. Okay, good. That's good. Well, it's uh, almost 11, so I suppose we can probably get started then. Um, just close that quick. And 
I will share my screen and we can get started. All right, can everybody see my uh, my monitor? Yes. Awesome. Yep. yep. There's a way to do this. I can never remember it there. I don't know why it does it like that. Okay. Anyways, um, oh, Paul is joining. We'll wait a f we'll wait a few seconds for him to come on. Hello there, Paul. All right, he muted himself. So, um, I guess we'll get started. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, for our uh, our weekly uh um meeting uh as always uh these meetings are recorded if anybody has any concerns about that please let me know um i post them on youtube but if there's some concerns then uh we can we can try to work those out um going with our agenda which you may or may not be able to see the word agenda it looks like uh we uh have introductions for p new people but there's nobody new so we won't have to do that uh, board farm status uh, from uh, myself and anyone else working on board farm stuff. Uh, funding open WRT projects, um, including the demos at uh, Mobile World Congress and Embedded World. Uh, regulatory update, uh, open WRT summit, which is mostly just going to be discussion and uh, any other topics that anyone would like to uh, bring up. So, um, are there any that people want to add right now, or or just so we know? whether how long we should let the uh, summit discussion go. All right, well, we will assume that there are none then. Um, anyways, uh, board farm status, I will just give my, my update. I don't know if there are anyone else who's been working on board farm stuff. Uh, I've been um, working on trying to have the setup of the very of when you connect a user connects to the device uh, to one of the LAN or WAN devices to run that as uh, non root. Uh, that's it, kind of was designed that you would run as root. I, I've kind of done a little bit of testing of having it run as uh, having a lot of that, that stuff that's just basically set up rebooting the device and just having it run it in um, RC local um, and running it there. I don't know if it's necessarily a great solution, but it, it seems to work for now. Um, so I am kind of uh, playing with that and we will see if uh, if that works well going forward. I haven't had a had many hours to put into it in the last week, uh, only about maybe five. So not a lot of progress uh, from my end. Um, does anyone else have anything related to Board Farm? I tried Board Farm to run it. Uh... But uh, yeah, the first problem I had was uh, connecting the serial, so it uh, depends on using Telnet to an external serial box, but I wanted to use it, uh, my serial, which is connected via USB. I've seen that you already created an issue for that. Uh, yes. Have you any workaround or something like this for this problem? Uh, there are actually two, two, there's, there's an immediate workaround, which is when it, it actually, you can connect, uh, local um you're basically just running a command that says telnet into a uh into like a serial server um instead of doing that you could pass in a uh like a like a screen command or something and just connect via that way uh i i got it working um in a prototype i need to s send the patch um but it, it does work for that use case the big thing I'm working on is the WAN and LAN. So um, it does work. It just requires a, a little bit of a change in a couple. Oh, yeah. can, can you post the patch to the ticket or make a pull request or something like this? I will do that. I will do that today then. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Um, anything else for anyone? I'm sorry, Eric. Uh, yep. Nick Hill has been very busy on other priorities this week, so unfortunately, we, we haven't got. We do have a new starter joining next week, so it might free him up a little bit. Awesome. I'm really hoping to start contributing properly. Definitely, that's great. Yeah, that other thing about Board Farm is is we've had a had uh, I, on the poll request, we've gotten probably I think five or 
between five and ten pull requests from the folks at uh, Nick.cz the, behind the Omni uh, Turia, uh, or Taurus or Taurus Omnia. Uh, they have submitted uh, quite a few pull requests um, for new features and, and things to make it work for their use case. So it, it's really good so far. Glad to see that. Great. Yeah. I, right. I think I think Eric, it'll probably become more popular once you have uh, remote ac remote access of people being able to to log in and and use it. Then it will become more popular for people wanting to set their own up. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It it I mean it clearly is is in completely understandably designed for um, internal QCA use. So there's kind of a, a set of things that need to get done to get us get us to a place where it's a little bit easier for people that don't have that particular setup. Right, right, exactly. But once then you have access to the data and the dashboard and the test results, people um, over email, people will really like it, I think. Absolutely, I agree. I agree. All right, well, uh, funding OpenWRT projects. Uh, uh, Art and I, or I had sent uh, something over to Art on the, the PSSP proposal, and we can, um, no real movement there, just kind of uh, going through that process um, between uh, myself and Kathy and Art and uh, and um, David Lau from the TSC. Uh, we also had demos at, uh, at Mobile World Congress and Embedded World. And I don't know if uh, if Art wants to talk about those. I saw he just came on, um, but apparently they're very well received. So, um, would you like to discuss that, Art, or I can summarize them? Sorry, I'm sorry, I had trouble. No problem. So uh, yeah, the demos went great. We had two different demos at Mobile World Congress. We had the, the cooler one that I really liked. We had three instances of OpenWRT up and running virtualized on top of the L4 hypervisor on a new processor from a, a Russian company called Baikal that has hardware hooks built in for hardware supported virtualization. So it was a really cool demo. It was the first time it's ever been done. And uh, that was really well received by anyone who knew what they were doing. So we're really excited about that. And then the more traditional demo was just uh, OpenWRT running on that uh, new board from Baikal. But the cool thing on that one was that was a much lower cost board. That's uh, The Baikal is a, a really high-end processor and high-end board but they did a, a lower cost board that could be pretty good for the developer community. So that one was uh, also well received. And uh, Eric, about your comment about the uh, funding, we've refined a little bit our idea around that proposal because um, I think as everybody knows, we've been working with the Home Gateway Initiative to transfer some of their work into purple. And, um, Part of what they're interested in, their major members, of course, are uh, carriers, uh, ma the major European carriers. And so what we want to do there is get some prioritization of their input. So what are their market requirements? And then we will propose to fund one or more of the projects that the community comes up with that match against that list of uh, requirements. So I'm pretty excited that that's going to really move ahead in, in a good way. Awesome. That's great. And well, one last piece of one last piece of news to everybody. I'll be speaking at the HDI event in Venice in two weeks about uh, this topic. You know the the interest of the carriers in OpenWRT, and I've invited uh, Kathy to uh, join me speaking there, and uh, we may have some representation from the OpenWRT community as well. So. Uh, Please uh, stay advised on that one, but we've been asked to contribute a speaker about relationship between uh, industry and the OpenWRT community. So obviously there's a lot of interest from the carriers in this whole topic. 
Yeah, that's a that's a perfect segue also for this announcement. Maybe we can announce this funding project, even if it's not, you know, the I's dotted, T's crossed, but announce it in terms of how the industry can make their <clears throat> requirements and wishes known. And through the Purple Foundation, we can have a, a, a more open, you know, collaborative uh, process of, of development with the community and industry. Yeah, that, that sounds perfect. And then I think uh, the industry would see we're very serious about it and the community would as well. So what's the process? How does it uh, go further with, with this topic? So what are the next well, steps? Well, Eric has uh, written up, and hopefully you've all seen his PSSP proposal. And I, I haven't posted it yet, but I, I mean, I can in the future. Okay. Yep. And probably what, probably what I'll have to do, I'll probably have to get board approval for the PSSP to fund the first project. I don't have to get approval for the proposal, but to fund the first project, I'll have to take it to the technical steering committee and board. But I expect with this process where we have priorities from industry and then the community responding with which projects they would be interested in taking on, uh, I think it should be a natural. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Absolutely. I think, uh, I, Art, um, we also had, uh, Hauke had mentioned that Lantique was particularly interested in this process too. Uh, just the, um, they had some particular ones that they were really interested in. And some of those overlap pretty well with, with the uh, carrier stuff too, so. That's should great. Be that's Absolutely. that's uh, really exciting. Okay, um, so I think that's all I have to report from OpenWRT, but I can say, or if, excuse me, from, Pur from Purple at uh, MWC but I have to say that OpenWRT was kind of the focal point of what we were doing there. So it all went great. Lots of press coverage, lots of interest. Awesome. Yeah, that, nice. that's, that's very good. I'm glad that, that's, that's great to hear. Um, the regulatory update, uh, I've just in my personal time have been kind of following it. The, the big thing that really came up this week was I don't know if folks saw the Federal Trade Commission uh, settled um, a, uh, a, a what was going to be a lawsuit against ASIS over their security and routers. I think that this this has a lot of potential um, in uh, interest in the OpenWRT space. They they required uh, ASIS ASIS basically made claims about that the routers had certain types of security in in there and they were found to be incredibly insecure and there were no, um, you know, you could access them from the internet with uh, basically uh, a default username and, and password. And, you know, there were known security bugs and, and, and a set of things. Uh, so the FTC is requiring ASUS to um, have a, a security process that's going to be independently audited, I believe for the next 20 years. 10 or 20 years. Um, but I think there's a lot of kind of overlap with some of the interest of uh, on the regulatory side and some of the concerns that were made about the FCC's proposal in, in that, you know, it would it would reduce the ability of people to audit, you know, low quality code and and people would have have low, low quality software on their routers and things like that. Um, it, it seems like like this may be of interest going forward. The FTC is also um, one of the members, interestingly said uh, in early January or mid-January that, that they were, someone asked them the question of, you know, should people be able to audit the source code on their device um, that they're buying, particularly as it relates to IoT. And uh, the member of the FTC said, yeah, that's something we should look at. Um, so, uh, in this, uh, very complex, uh, U S government, the FTC does look, seem to be a group that, that may be, uh, open to the idea of more use of open source and protecting the rights of people to modify their devices. But yeah, that's my, that's my regulatory update there. Um, and in Germany, we have, um, 
the um, BSE, the Federal Ministry, uh, the Federal Agency for Internet Security, or something like this, um, <coughs> they uh, have proposed a, uh, a test concept um, for the CP for routers and so on. Um, they published a draft in October, and um, I think at least I got the new one, the new version. Don't know if it's public. Um, yet it's, they want to make yeah these devices more secure and have some uh, yeah what vendors should do and um, implement and so on. So they are also taking want to take yeah it's targeted at, at Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, all in German. Um, but they are yeah they have probably not the power um, like the FTC, but uh, <laughs> uh, they also try to make the, the devices more secure. But but maybe the other uh, governments will copy that approach, you know, if if they're successful and in, in getting a sort of a test implementation, because it mm. could be both test implementation and some form of audit, like like you said, Eric, that mm. this this could enable more software openness of the critical parts, or you know, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's a. I think it's interesting. It, it kind of seems like a little bit of a shot across the bow uh, by the FTC, saying you know you can't ship devices that are you know in the IoT revolution, so to speak, that are completely insecure uh, and basically claim that they are. Um, you have to be honest with with the consumers now. When that in and of itself could be concerning, because one could say, well, that means you have to lock down the router, uh, but. No, but then you can point to the VW, <laughs> the Volkswagen, yes. you know, pass Absolutely. the test, but no, yeah. No, I agree. But the other thing is the fact that one of the members of the FTC said, yeah, source code audit might be a good thing, you know, allowing people to see the source code on the devices they run um, or potentially requiring it. Uh, the fact that they were at least open to the idea indicates to me that th they may be going in a, in a healthier direction than the FCC wanted to. So, all right. Um, so on open, I guess the next thing on the on the agenda is uh, Open WRT Summit. I don't really have anything there. It's more just you know we had kind of said this is one of the things we wanted to discuss. I mean, is there anything like what are people's thoughts? I mean, it it would be in I think I don't remember if it's if um, if uh, the Embedded Linux Conference Europe is in September or October, I don't remember, but you know we're we're probably at least uh, you know seven to eight months out. What what are people's thoughts on you know timeline? What do people think that we should do differently? Um, next steps. Well, we should probably start by firming down the place. I mean, we did a we did a survey last at the end of the last one, and we had decided to do it in conjunction with Embedded World. Uh, I mean, uh, Embedded Linux Conference Europe again. Correct? Is that? Yeah, that seemed that, to be the. Was, oh, seemed to be that the was my understanding as well. Yeah, and is that Prague? Is that where that is, uh, Eric? I thought it was in somewhere in Germany. I don't remember. I thought I think it was in Berlin. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep. So yeah. you know, if we if we start at least <clears throat> circulating that information about Berlin, and then uh, just put together our our notes from organizing the last one, and then start reaching out to the Open WT core team. Mm -hmm. to see if they have uh, feedback on how to get even more representation from their side and uh, and tie it into these new initiatives. You know, we'll talk about board farm, about funding projects. Uh, we should definitely have talks on projects that get funded as well as just, you know, community projects. Mm -hmm. One one idea that I had in... in... Um, I would like to uh, diversify the decision making process because while I while I'd like to think that I made did a pretty good selection process, I'm it'd be nice to have some more open WRT folks, you know kind of looking these over well, then to get a we sense probably of wanna... you know, does this yeah. 
yeah, we probably want to have a call for a, a, a You just cut out Kathy. Sorry, I was trying to say we should have a planning committee. Yep. Invite people to join a planning committee and then we can start talking about things. Okay, that seems reasonable to me. Okay. Uh, one other kind of question was um, it, we had a lot of trouble fitting all the, all the sessions in, obviously. Uh, do, do people think it's feasible even to do two days or does that seem uh, probably too big a too big a hurdle in the second year? Obviously, the planning commission would, would, would or the planning committee would be pretty involved in that decision. But just a thought. yeah, I think yeah, I think there's trade offs you can do with shorter talks to get more talks. Um, that's one way to tackle it to try to squeeze it into one day. Mm hmm. But um, you know okay. you don't want you don't want people to just stay stand up and say their name and hello and have to get back off. So yeah, I think it's a planning committee can start thinking about it. Okay. Well, I I'll work with I'll, you know I'll work with uh, you, Kathy, and we can we can uh, kind of come with a, a like a a call for a planning committee um, to uh, to get started and. We can, I'm just generally asking the OpenWRT community, uh, talk to some select people that we would very much want to be in, involved in it. So. That sounds good. All right. Awesome. Well, that's all I have for that. I mean, are there um, any other topics that we want to discuss to, to, uh, to chat about? All right, it's very quiet. Um, I'm assuming yeah, sorry, that the, there, there, there are none, um, but. Yeah, I, I think we may have lost you there oh. for a while, Eric. Um, nothing from my side though, uh, but you did fade out just as you asked the question. Oh, oh yeah, I was just asking if there's any other uh, topics that we want to discuss, but okay. Well, seeing none, I will, uh, we can, we can uh, you know, end the meeting early. Um, Thank you everyone for joining. A lot of good discussion and uh I will uh and uh you know please feel free to uh continue to be involved on on the mailing list and and uh and whatnot and we'll see everyone next week. Yeah, and if anyone and if anyone wants to uh uh be on the planning committee for the summit, talk to Eric and you know raise your name. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, okay. thank you very, very much, much, everyone. See ya. Bye. Hey, Art, can you stay Bye. on for two Thanks. seconds? Art? Okay. Bye. Bye. Sorry, I was muted. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't talk when you're muted. Yeah. Yeah. Kat, thanks for uh, saying yes to that proposal. That'll be great. Yeah, so fantastic. Um, and and I do exactly envision what you said, uh, disclosing the uh, funding idea at the same time. Yeah. And so, yeah, that would be and, perfect. And we show the uh, telecom guys that we're serious about this, and that the community's serious, and we have a proposal, and we have a process, and uh, it'll be really cool. Yeah. Then, so. Yeah. And then Imre is excited about it because he's, you know, we hired Imre to do the work to do that uh, virtualized open WRT. So he's uh -huh. going to bring the demo. he's going to bring the demo. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And then he he gives it a, a sense of reality, like here's an open WRT core member and, you know, that the community and the industry are working together. And, the you know, it's a win win in terms of they get to do more development and spend more time and they all work for a lot of them are consultants or liaisons to other companies. So we can, uh, 
improve the project in the way that the industry needs it because there's not always that dialogue between the two. Exactly. So I think it can be really cool. Now I'm just I'm working back to the other side to make sure they accept you two as speakers and they accept <laughs> okay. the speakers. So uh, stand by for 24 hours and okay. then I'll I'll communicate all the flight information. We we can uh, we can uh, book the flights for you. You know, once we work out the um, the details, okay. that way that you won't have any cash out of pocket. And um, we, you know, we'll I'll figure out the hotel situation. I assume we'll stay wherever Duncan's staying. At HDI is staying. Okay. And we'll work it all out. So yeah. I would say we're at we're at about ninety five percent confidence uh, that they'll say yes. They don't have an alternative. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I, I can be your local Italian speaker there for you. That's excellent. <laughs> of course, uh, maybe we should have Cesare go too, and then <laughs> we could really <laughs> tour. Uh, no, just kidding. I don't think he's going to come on this one. But um, so I will try to get confirmation in the next 24 hours, and then we'll work out all the rest of the details. Okay. Yeah, that that sounds terrific. I I think uh, it would be nice also to be in, become engaged with the HGI folks, and be able to communicate all the things we've been doing. So that's another good opportunity to keep them engaged. Yeah. Okay. We may have a little bit of work uh, doing an abstract of the talk because um, they're sort of process driven over at HGI, but uh, I think I could work that out. Imre and I were talking. It was this was, by the way, all Imre's idea. He came up with this. So <laughs> Great. I had, I had asked him if he would do the talk, and he said no. Then he came back. <laughs> then he came back to me and said, "Well, maybe. How about this idea?" So uh, that's where it came from. Yeah, and then I went to the HDI site. I can't get any information out of there, but if you if you want help ginning up an abstract or something like that, I just need an example, or I need to see what something about what what this conference looks like to understand uh how to fit something into it okay we'll do we'll do okay all right well how, how long are you there for you're still at embedded world right now uh the show just wrapped up about an hour ago and Imre and i are going out to dinner in about 20 minutes okay. and then i fly out tomorrow morning all right Okay, well, uh, thanks, and we'll be in touch. How, how would you say good evening in Italian? Buonasera, is that it? Uh, buonasera, yeah. You go into a restaurant, you say buonasera. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Have, have a good evening. <laughs> Take care. Ci vediamo is the way you say we'll see you. Ci vediamo. Ci vediamo. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, yep. Eric. Yep, no problem. Daniel, I see you on the call. You. You still here? I'm assuming not. All right, one later.